Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with cgcookie.com, and welcome to the Getting Started with GIMP series. I will be going through the foundations of GIMP starting from scratch, assuming you may have never opened a software such as this before. In this part, I will be going through downloading and installing GIMP properly. Okay, let's get started. GIMP is an open source software that can be found from the internet. So if we just go to our search engine, type in GIMP, and there we go. Click the first thing and it'll bring you right to the website. And on here it's pretty straightforward. It tells you to download right in the title banner. So that's what I'm going to do. Click the download. And I'm doing this on my Mac, so I'm going to make sure I go under that category and click download. So on this screen, it'll ask me what um, current build of my Mac I have. So if we look here, it'll say like times 10.6. And that number is the most important. And to find out what um, your current hardware is, if you click on the Apple in the top left corner and then choose About This Mac, the very first thing under the Mac OS will be your version. So mine's 10.58. So I am running on the Leopard. So if I click on that, it'll say that my GIMP will start downloading and then the little download uh, window should pop up. There it is. Okay. So I don't know how long this is going to take. Looks actually like it's going to be pretty quick. I was going to stop the video and come back, but I'm just going to wait it out. I'm going to minimize this. And there we go. It's pretty easy to download GIMP. It's much faster than um, other softwares that you could get. So now double click it and it opens up this little menu. Now from here it has um, everything you need to know about GIMP and installing it to your computer. So if you double click important notes, this is important because even though GIMP is an application all its own, you need to add another application to run GIMP on Mac. So it says that right here under requirements and you need what's called X11. And if you don't have X11 or don't know what it is, it tells you right under, so it just a quick read, there's four paragraphs, and pretty much what it's telling me is I need to look to see if I have X11 installed in my applications folder. So I'm going to check that first. So I go to applications, and I believe it is under the utilities. Double click that. And there it is. X11. So I have X11 installed. And from here, if you scroll to the top, it says to install GIMP, just simply drop it in the applications folder. So I'm going to go back. Knowing that I have X11 already installed, I'm going to go ahead and grab GIMP and drag it to my applications folder. And since I already have GIMP installed in my computer, there's one already there. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and say replace as if this was my first time installing GIMP. And just like before, it installs pretty quickly. And now, as long as I have um, X11 installed and it's the right version if I go ahead and just double click GIMP from the application folder it'll just give me a message saying it's from the internet do you want to open it choose open and then it should start right up so then this is the opening screen, and it'll lay out into GIMP. So that's the correct way of in downloading and installing GIMP. And there you go. So if you have any questions, please um, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.